Hey, welcome back to Iceborne. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you are having a great day. We have the field team leader to speak to because it says we need to follow Runa Nagaganti. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to go and what this is going to open up, but I'm guessing this is um, something that we need to do to, to essentially unlock the next set of events that are going to take place. So I think it's better to do it earlier rather than later, even though we do have some other things yeah. to do, some monsters to take down, elder dragons to, to hunt just for some sets and, and weapons and stuff like that. But I'm really fascinated in this because it seems like Ruin and Nogagante, we haven't unlocked anything uh, to craft from that monster, even though we, we kind of slayed it. I guess you could call it slaying it. Um, but it wasn't a quest, so of course there's going to be something that goes down with that, and I'm really fascinated with that. Uh, we have some stuff to read as well um, about Shara Ishvalda, so we'll go ahead and do that because I turned that in uh, to the to the resources. So uh, let's let's uh, stop with all of that. Let's just keep going <laughs> because I'm really fascinated to see where this goes. He says you look well rested. Did you enjoy yourself last night? We've got a lead in Nagagante's whereabouts. Field teams found tracks in the elders' recess. It's a solid match. Guess it went there after feasting on the old uh, Everworm's energy. Mm -hmm. It's likely still there now. Let's find it before it takes off after its next meal. Be quick, but don't be hasty. We know what this thing's capable of. Be sure you're well prepared. I'll wait here until you're ready. Um. Well. Everyone ready. Let's just let's just go out and see what we have. I, I switch over to the charge blade, um, just because we haven't used it uh, in in a short while. No particular reason for that. Um, so you're ready to set out for the Elder's Recess to find a Gante. Um, let's do it. Let's go. Because I did eat. I uh, just went to the canteen just to show something that gave us some help and you know whatever. So we'll follow the thing to the ends of the new world. This is exciting. I really want to see where this goes from here. Sphinx is kitted out with his Shara Ishvalda gear. Can't make mine yet because you know we have quite a few battles to do before that. But I figured he should at least have it in the meantime. So hopefully he's enjoying that. He's floating around on a little um, lotus, <laughs> which is really cool. <laughs> Uh, that's weird. Communication error. Let's get rid of that. We'll figure out why in a, in a moment, but until then... Is there he is. What is he doing? I, I don't understand what he's. After it. What his endgame is here. Because he seems to be on his own mission this entire time. It also seems like the whole thing with Shara Ishvalda, we could have just left it uh, completely and it, and it would have sorted itself out. With Rua Nag Nagagante going and, and killing it himself. this partner it's amazing Bagel is back.
God, he's so badass. He's just hunting everything to death. But uh, this this place, what is this place? Because it's very reminiscent of the ancient forest. What is this place? Um, is this the ancient forest? No, something's off. Ooh. Yeah, because this is... Oh, no matter hmm. which way I point uh, the analog stick, it um, just goes forward. Carcass. I've never seen anything like this in the New World or the Hinterlands. Nothing can stop us. There might be more, and we might run into whatever let out that roar. Oh. Yeah, this is an entirely new map. This is fascinating. This is not what I expected at all. Uh, Grimalkin Ivy Traps. So we do have Grimalkins out here. Um, regular flow fun stuff like that. Uh, what are you? Apseros? <gasps> Nyos? The Coral Highlands. What is she talking about? Well, hold up. Let me, <laughs> let me follow her. Mm -hmm. Oh damn, it is. Yeah, and when we, when we were descending, it, it kind of looked like there was a sandy place mm -hmm. as well. I wonder if we're going to end up in a wild spire waste kind of place as well, because this is definitely the Caudal Highlands. I think the row we heard came from over there. Um, let's just keep... I don't know what Proceed to keep on. Caution. Let's just keep on the max potion in case. Um, Rotten Vale? Rotten Vale, right? Let me, let me follow up. I'm getting distracted. This is, this is like the first episode all over again where instead of just damn following... Hmm. I'm getting distracted by everything else. Uh, Rathalos decayed carcass. Where is that? Yeah. This is so cool. Yeah, that's right. Looks safe. We may be able to say us to set up camp <laughs> here. Hmm. We've got a camp, time to start doing some research. By the way, about those tracks you found, they contained an odd type of secretion. Never seen this in the New World or the Hinterlands. It may be unique to this region. And then there's whatever's making that roaring sound. Be careful out there, okay? Hey, partner! I wonder what it is that's, that's making that sound. Um, so when I ate, uh, I ended up with uh, Kava and Defender. So I'm hoping that Kava gets activated. So we're not going to get that. In, uh, find the source of the roar in the forest region. Giros. Yeah, so the bottom is like a rotten veil. Otherwise, there wouldn't be uh, Giros. Uh, and I'm heading west, essentially. Um, so there's an entrance there, there's an entrance here. Cool. This head straight down.
Uh, I'd rather keep 15 p piercing pods. I mean, 15 red pits instead of one piercing pod. So we do have Chagras. We do have whatever that is. Thunderbug. Don't tell me it's Fulgur Bugs. Ooh. At the loss. They were Fulgur Bugs. And that's an ogre. God, I, I, I did not expect this entire thing to be so hype. Vulgar bugs again. It is an ogre. Turn to Seliana. Zenogo will leave the locale soon. Oh, I, th I, I, I thought I was about to, to like <laughs> have to fight him. Um, but it does say yeah, they they all are leaving the locale, so I have to return. I had no idea this was going to be so hype. I thought we were going to have like a calm introduction into like some kind of end game or something, but this is We're getting new monsters and stuff just straight out the gate. Yeah, there is a wildfire waste area. Damn. This is really awesome. So I wonder if we're gonna have to come over and uh, defeat that damn thing. So, so there aren't any uh, large monsters left on the map, it seems. So there isn't much for us to do. Are we are we friends with the Grimalkins here already? Let me just check before we head back to Celiana. Um Because if we can uh, trigger an optional quest real quick, then that would be good. Um, but if not, that would also be good because it means that, you know, we already, ha we already have some friends out here that, that we can put to use in the future. So the raw was an ogre the entire time. Fascinating. Um, are there any traps in this area? I mean, I guess you can get them into that, and that would be a trap. Hmm. 
um, more of this kind of uh, like ivy um, vines, I guess that that you can trap monsters with. Just have a quick word with these guys and see. Seems like we're, we're already friends. Kind of? Yeah. Okay. So there's no optional quest to uh, make friends on this map. Let's head over and see what, what they have to say about this. The land of discoveries reach the gui guiding lands. Great. Okay, uh, wow, that's some story. Who would have thought a place like that uh -huh. existed? But where is it? I want to know exactly where um, on the world map this is located. Because I know after the spiral just past the hinterlands is where we went to fight Shara Ishwalda but this could this can't be there because we were at the elders recess when we got there now um, so it's close by to the elders recess so maybe like the top uh, like the northeast Rathalos was fighting a Diablos and then as an ogre joined in really and we were testing how high we could go with the airship, I remember seeing a strange mountain-like shape on the horizon. The Third Fleet wanted to conduct an investigation into it since they had no solid evidence of anything like that existing. But it looks like you guys managed to beat them to the punch. Mm -hmm. From what I'm hearing, that land contains regions that resemble the, the locales we're already active in. So there's like, it's like one map that has all of the different maps within it. It's got to be something fundamentally different about them, though. We'll need to focus on gathering samples from bones and ore so that we can compare them to data we already have. Understood. We'll get started yeah. right away. Was there anything else you noticed that was off? Uh -huh. Found tracks that had a strange composition to them. I never saw anything like them in the New World or the Hinterlands. They're definitely from a monster, but I couldn't pinpoint one monster made them. Uh I think I'll have the time to look into those tracks too, if you want. Who knows, if we can analyze those tracks, that might lead us to something big. Groundbreaking right. even. Understood. I'll leave that to you then. Now that's sorted out, the most difficult part is next. What the heck do we call this Let's place? See. Since you were led there by Nagagante, the Guiding Lands has a nice ring to it. Let's get to tracking the mystery of the Guiding Lands. Let's okay, do this. so this is so that's our official name, I guess, from from here on out. You ought to look into that as an ogre first, and don't forget to collect samples from bones and ores while you're out All there. All right. You are the lady. Head out to the Guiding Lands when you're ready. Okay, go on an expedition to the Guiding Lands. The Guiding Lands is a complex ecosystem consisting of multiple regions that affect each other. Go on expeditions in the Guiding Lands to find out more about the monsters and characteristics of each region. Only Master Rank is available in the Guiding Lands. You'll receive Master Rank points for any large monster you hunt in the Guiding Lands, even on expeditions. Large monsters will, ex will escape and be replaced by other large monsters after a while, but if you're fighting them or if they're low on health, they will stay around longer. If you faint while on the expedition in the Guiding Lands, you will receive fewer rewards when hunting a large monster. The more you research large monsters in the region, the more the region level will, will increase. At higher region levels, new, powerful species and tempered monsters may start appearing. Large monsters in the Guiding Lands will drop rare items and yield special materials if you carve or capture them, so make sure to take them to the smithy. Large monsters in the Guiding Lands will drop rare items and yield special rewards. One word of warning, as one region's level increases and changes, the level for another region may go down. 
In the guiding lands, mining outcrops and bomb piles will also produce special materials that can't be obtained elsewhere. You'll also be able to find gathering points that yield increasingly valuable materials the more you use them. Each region has its own unique materials, so make sure you try to gather. Try out every gathering point you come across. If you keep going at it, you may even run into special gathering points. This is interesting. Okay, so we were capped at 23, we're now at 44. Everyone ready? Next stop, the Guiding Lands. Nagagante should be there too. I'm sure we'll run into it if we keep investigating. Let's get the show on the road. We have the pink. I don't think we've had pink before. Hey kid, been waiting for you. We got things to discuss. You've heard okay. the rumors of Shattered Horn, right? Seems a few hunters exploring the Horfrost Reach caught a glimpse of something. Something like a Kirin with its horn broken off. Mm. Fascinating. <laughs> I know, right? A real ear perker. So, I figured I'd go out to the Reach and take a look for myself. Mm, I looked high and low, but no sign of any Kirin. Much less a hornless one. But I did find tracks. Fresh tracks. It's strange though, having a Kirin show up all of a sudden out here. And that is strange. How is it crossing over? Because it was in the Elder's Recess. No, it was in the Coral Highlands. Nobody knew how it got there. And now all of a sudden it's over the ocean in, in the hinterlands. Which means it came from somewhere else. So, we gotta go and find this Shattered Horn. I already filed a quest with your handler. Cool. Who knows where it came from? What's up with its horn? But it's our job to put the pieces together. Now get moving and don't keep me waiting. Okay, investigate the Kirin in the Horfrost Hor Reach. A Kirin with a shattered horn has been spotted in the Horfrost Reach. Take on the special assignments Star Sterling Pride and investigate. In Iceborne, speak to characters with a purple exclamation to advance special assignments. Most Hunter World special assignments can be advanced by speaking to characters found in Astera or in the Third Fleet's research base with a blue uh, exclamation above their head. So, purple, I thought it was pink, but it's purple uh, in Iceborne and it's blue in the regular base game. Somebody to speak to over, I think that's a smithy. Oh no, it's you. We did some proper works in the steamworks and added something fancy to it. Now you can choose how much fuel you want to use per turn. Pull it up with a boatload of fuel and watch the goodies roll in. It's a fancy turn in the steamworks. Switch the output of the steamworks has been added. By switching the output to uh, 10 times, one turn will use 100 fuel cells, but you'll also receive 10 times the amount of items. Uh, switching output will reset the Steamworks gauge. Steam power buildup is the same as regular output. Certain overdrive items can only be obtained a limited amount of time. So if I set that to 100, you will only have 7 with the natural fuel. But I would have to add fuel myself. How much does that, does that add? Like one? Oh my god. <laughs> How much does that add? One as well. Damn. But there's coal, uh, uh, coal as well, right? I thought so. I guess all was what I was thinking about. Anyway. Uh, we'll mess around with that uh, at some point. Um, here we go. Yeah, the Guiding Lands. So yeah, Northeast. Guiding Lands has been added to the quest board and world map. Point the cursor to the Guiding Lands and go on an expedition. You can also go on an expedition via the quest board. Press left trigger, right trigger to check info for each region and see which monsters are currently there. When going on an expedition in the Guiding Lands, you can select your own objective when you depart. This will help other players with the same objective to find and join you more easily. You can also change the objective by talking to the handler. If you want to join other players on their expeditions in the Guiding Lands, go to the quest board or talk to the handler. 
a guiding lens option has been added to the quest board menu. Select join to respond to SOS flare, fire, uh, flares and join uh, guiding lands expedition in the same online session. If you join other players in the expeditions in the guiding lands, the results will be reflected in the status of your own guiding lands as well. So it pays off to help each other out in multiplayer. In joining other players, the region levels of the guiding lands will be adjusted to the lead to the leader's progress. Okay. Um, so if I just point over here, um, each I'm guessing that's the ancient forest, wildfire. Coral Highlands and Rotten Vale. Ore and Bone. Resource information, okay. And it's currently night time. Uh, before we do that, let's see if anybody in Estera has anything to say. And then I think let's just head out on an expedition to the Guiding Lands. Maybe hunt a few mosses, see what's going on. Get some ore, get some bones, just to see how it works. Okay, nobody. So let's get out there. I think we're gonna have to eat again because we kind of wasted it on the last time. Analysis progress. Fanged wyvern. Examining signs of a turf war can occasionally result in finding special tracks that contain dropped materials from other monsters. If you examine these tracks, you'll be able to obtain analyzed special tracks, which serve as pheromones to lure out the monster in question. Tracks can also be found by carving or capturing large monsters. Till the tracks are fully anal analyzed, you'll only be able to tell what species it is. But you can analyze multiple species simultaneously. For more information on special tracks, go to the info tab in the start menu, select check special tracks. Two ways of analyzing special tracks. Slay or capture uh, large monsters and examine signs of turf wars to discover special tracks of the same species. This is a lot of information. It's just like an information dump. Um, destroy large monster parts in the guiding lands. You can advance analysis once per monster species by breaking one of their body parts. Naturally, breaking parts of a monster of the same species will be more effective. The body part belongs to the monster you're actually analyzing. The analys their analysis will be completed instantly. May also be able, may also can obtain special, uh, analyze special tracks directly from shepherd monsters. Let's just go and figure out how this works because the amount of words they are, they are throwing at me is just kind of confusing me a little bit. Try to find as many special tracks as you can. Okay. Let's get our rations here. We'll fluctuate or not when departing or joining expeditions. Okay, this is all weird. Um, we have that to do. Uh, we'll, we'll probably take it down in, in one of the future episodes, but let's just go and see what we have. My health actually kind of looks good. But let's just eat. Um, um, let's just do that. And let's go out. So I do have the barn burrow on the map. Which is interesting. Gonna have to like find. Since he's like on the map already, let's go towards him. Um, I'm hoping we can find some bones and, and ore along the way. Where is Puke? I would rather actually go after Puke. Do 
Because it makes more sense to stick with uh, something like a Puke rather than a uh, Banbaro right now. There it is. Want, uh, I have max honey. This tenderized tail, maybe we can get it cut real quick. Feels good to be fighting Toke again, though. Love this one, though. That's right, I need to uh, change what um, decorations are on the Rocksteady Metro. Shit. I want your tail down. There we go. If I've actually had this up there the entire time, it would have been a lot better. But now that I only have one file, I think it's more worth it to just keep hitting Y. Oh, that, that poison. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I don't believe I'm stunned. I'm stunned and poisoned and I'm about to die. Damn, that was close. <laughs> so much of poison. Can I heal, please? Can you allow me to heal? That would be really nice. So analysis progress, Fang Woven, what would Puke be considered? Bird? Can't be. Probably Fang. I wanna go to that head. Should sharpen to it. Yeah, I should just bite the bullet and sharpen a little bit. Because this bouncing is way too much. Okay, he is leaving. I wonder how this works. 
and what is uh, I really can't for the life of me remember what the difference is between a fang grove and uh, bird woven. I guess uh, um, Hulu is more of a bird woven. And you are, oh, you are a bird as well. Okay. So Fang would be Toby Kadachi, Great Chagras, Great Chiros. Um, I don't know if we have any Fang Wovens right now. So the analysis progress is hunting this Puke even going to do anything, I wonder. Fragrant Poison Sack. That is a, a very, uh, that is a new, yeah, the Guiding Lands en Energy Fortifies Monsters Living There. So this is a, a brand new item. Very cool. So does this turn into like a sandbox kind of style hunting? Where you just kind of go out, hunt a whole lot of different things. and make progress that way. Uh, hopefully Banbaro doesn't do anything here. This thing says this Puke is below. How did he get below? Here. That look like a fluvium. I can't find any bones or Oh, so that's also kind of odd. Oh, damn. I was hoping that I could, like, get him poisoned, but then he falls into the poison, so now I have to deal with it. What is that? I don't need to heal, but... Yeah, let me just heal him. I kind of did that to myself, so... Mm, I want the items. I only have two of those, so I don't want to waste them running in. Okay, it's, it's done. I, I keep something keeps exploding and I don't know what it is like I keep I keep getting like thrown off by something exploding okay he's almost dead I want to see what happens when we okay so um, Fang Woven, Brute Woven. Now analysis progress has added Brute Woven to, to the mix. Oh shit, it's a natural toad. Now I'm just confused, so... Uh, Antidote Herb is actually really good for right now. So I guess like like during this entire process we're gonna try to figure out what the hell is happening, how it all works by defeating this Puke and maybe like the Um would Banbaro be considered a brute? Yeah. So since we have brute over on the side, maybe after this Puke we'll try to fight the, the Banbaro and see. How that goes. I 
It's so weird. They they told me to check out like bone piles and ore deposits, but I can't find any. Because while running around, I've been trying to like keep my eye open for them, but I don't really see anything. Oh, great jugglers. So I guess we've got a, a fang woman as well. <laughs> Uh, this great Jagras is... I'm sure if I go around here, I'll get to him. So then we'll be able to see... Okay, so it added Bird Wyvern over to the to the right hand side now. So I'm, 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 I'm very confused about how this works. Why did I go into the tail? That was stupid of me. so that you can buy me some time. So now I'm interested, once I kill this, which would be considered a bang woman, what really updates over on the side. Oh, that uh, I I didn't even realize, but that also um, the the spinning blade also affects that. So when you do that single uh, fire discharge, you, you still get the the spinning blade extra damage. What is going on here? Probably Kadachi. But let me try this again. So if I hit it, yeah, you do get the spinning blade extra attacks. That's so cool. Kirby Kadachi needs to show. Is that great Jaguars leaving? Yeah, he is. Okay, piercing pods are good. Let's pick this up. I'm really fascinated to see what happens and how this works. Are you are you both gonna be doing this? Because that's not fair. Just so nobody hits me while I do this. Dude, I, 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 God damn it. That is so stupid. The way that works. That is dumb as well. God damn it. 
All I want you to do is send him into the wall. That's it. Um, where did he go? He went down somewhere, so maybe this way? Yeah, there he is. Just put a thing on. The spinning blade is so satisfying. This thing has a lot of health though, surprisingly. Okay. So it has now been defeated. And what does that do for us? I mean, we have like some arrows going with the Fang Woven. Okay, now as we are carving it, we are getting more of those little arrows. So I wonder what happens when you get to the end of it. Let's let's do the Toby Kadachi since that's another fang over. That way we can see what happens when we get to the end of that that little thing. Proper quick sharpen. This is fascinating. Still a bit confused about how it works, but I think we will learning slowly, and we'll get it soon. Okay. This is obviously a much more difficult fight. Can we get the red just before? Yes, we can. I love that. I mean, I think that's the closest wall that we're gonna get. This is definitely a uh, much more difficult monster than the other two, so we have to be a little bit more careful. Alright, um, it seems to be that, you know, picking up items is what's giving us Yeah, we, we were able to do it. So, Fang Woven analysis complete. I mean, we might as well complete the other two as well while we're out here. Damn it, I'm too far. Just too far away. 
What's also fascinating is that the music in, in this place feels different. It's almost like it has its own soundtrack. Which could be possible. What is this? Oh, Wyvern Egg. I don't want it to do anything weird while it's up there. <laughs> But it's a uh, new charge that it got is so wicked. It looks so awesome. Damn the range of that. And the stun because of the, the thunder blight. Oh I'm dead. I am dead. I don't believe I survived that. You know, sometimes he does the, the forward one, and sometimes he does another one that's like um, more 360, so I don't want to chance it something. I do need to sharpen. At least we knocked him out of the shot. He's gonna run away. That gives us some some opportunity to sharpen. So do I need to even continue fighting this guy since we Oh no. Man, these guys. <laughs> these damn these damn little insects. Since we've already gotten the, the fanged woman to its maximum. I don't know if there's like a point in fighting him at the uh, uh, like right now, but we'll we'll keep doing it, and then maybe we'll go after the brute so that we can fill that one up as well. Because he is just below here, so I'm not really sure. I, I really don't like the way that, that entire mechanic works, um, you know, with the stamina and all of that. Can I send you into this monster? Yeah. Nice. This guy's personnel though. Um blinding cattle ancient great horn, that's probably from the barn barrel. Where am I going to find this guy? They aren't being super clear about it. Uh, are they saying to go down here? Looks like they're telling me to go down here. Yeah. Uh, 
this is such an interesting concept for 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 the end of the story because this is not what I expected at all. This this is so unique. Let's go where there's a bit more space. So that is like kind of the entrance to the Wildspire Waste area. being really quick. Oh damn. I was just just in the way of that. Got a scream. He's not going down easy. Oh, that okay. So he is low. That's good. Um, that's right. I can talk. I can call Tail Raiders, even though none of them know me out here. <laughs> okay, so you are done. You're done, right? Brood Woven analysis seems to be complete. Um, I think because we had a run-in with uh, that barn barrow and collected some parts and stuff, whatever. Bird Woven. I don't think there's any birds out here. Is he done? Is he done? Because it didn't, it didn't show me anything. Yeah, he's done. Um, there aren't any bird women, so I'm not really going to wait around for one to come. So, before we return... Let's head to the camp. Speak to the handler, see what she has to say, and then we can return and see how it works. Well done, pard! Special tracks you, find, you found in the Guiding Lands have been fully analyzed. Turned around with the results of Bert and I'm happy to report that you'll now be able to lure out specific monsters. No time like the present, so why not give it a try right away? Use Analyze Special Tracks to lure out monsters. After analyzing special tracks left by monsters, you can use Analyze Tracks to attract monsters to designated areas. Talk to the handler in one of the Guiding Land camps and select Lure Out Monster to, to decide which monster and where you want them to appear. May take some time for them to show up, but this is an efficient way to gather materials and raise your progress for each region. Um, so the ancient forest area we did the most in because we kind of hunted all of the monsters there, but we can manually decrease that 
if we want to bring it back down. I wonder why you would want to do that. Um, let's not do that. Uh, you must turn in your current results first. So report investigation. Ooh. All of the Puke stuff, all of the Toby Kadachi stuff, all of the Great Chagra stuff. Of course, the plunder blade. Hmm. So venom, uh, slinger capacity and constitution, defense boost. I'm guessing that'll give me two or three. Master rank forty-five, forest region level two. This is this is this is fascinating. Okay, so it said that it mentioned that if I raise the the level of one region, it's going to lower the level of the other. So I wonder how that works as well. Okay, so now that that's done, I can low out monster. So I can low out Zenoga. interesting uh we're not gonna do it now because this is like the end of the video but damn that's mm, let's not do that right now what we're gonna do let's end this video here uh because we are at uh time and in the next one Let's hit this low, low out Zenoga and see what we got. Maybe we can fight this guy, like right now. That that would be a surprise. I wonder if that's how it works, though. If or, or we have to, you know what? Let me just return. I'm sure that those levels remain, and uh, luring out monsters are going to remain, even if we return. I just want to see what what people at Saliana have to say now that we we've, we've done a little, a little bit of an investigation. I wonder if we are even going to get um, assigned quests anymore to to fight um, Zenoga. So uh, I'm not really sure how this is gonna work. Got some good news. You now use our melding techniques to create analyzed special tracks for materials from the guiding lands. Ready whenever you want to give it a shot. Gilding Alchemy is now available at the Elder Melder. You can now create analyzed special tracks by melding materials obtained from the Guiding Lands. However, you can only create them for monsters you've unlocked by obtaining certain special materials from them in the Guiding Lands. Talk to the handler in either of the Guiding Lands base uh, camps in order to use the special uh, analyzed tracks you've created. So now they've just revealed that there are only two camps there. Um, I don't think they were, they, they were meant to reveal that but uh, they just did. Guiding Alchemy. Toby Kadachi. Let's see how this works. I don't know, I, I don't know what, this, what this is gonna do. But now we have one thing. <laughs> I don't know what it is that we have. <laughs> we have, it says like, next to Toby Kadachi's name, it says one. So we have one thing, but I don't know what it is. A uh, special track. Um, so that's odd. And we have more exclamations. One there, one there. So let's just speak to them before we, we close out. Um, And let's not do the Zenoga just yet because I am wondering if we're gonna maybe unlock an, uh, an actual quest for him. So, this humble gift. So, Sealer's Charm. Um, you guys are back.
Okay. Uh, perfect room. Silver. Capture seething basil keys. In the elders recess. Okay. Let's go, kids. Elite. Let's uh, do something like that. Like that. Um, one more person wanted to speak and I think we'll be done here for now. I think in the next one Let's ra let's rather try to, to to see if we can do that special assignment So this is inside of the Smithy uh, We'll try to do that special assignment for that Kiran Found this in the guiding lands this thing's something else might even let me keep me upgrading a weapon that's been maxed out could work for armor too, I'd be more than happy to try it out for you. So kind of like how we, we upgraded uh, weapons at the end of uh, the base game. This is going to work like that. We don't have any rarity 11 weapons yet, even though our our Kinsegs are level, are level 11. Augment. More depth and freedom in customizations. Weapons with a rarity of 10 or higher that have been upgraded to the maximum level on the weapon tree and weapons of rarity 8 or lower that have already been augmented can be made even stronger through customized augmentation. New upgrade categories. You can now also upgrade element status effects. Add upgrade slots. Spend your upgrade slots for even more categories to augment. The number of available slots depends on the weapon rarity. Evolving upgrade categories. Upgrades can be evolved for improved effects. This also increases the number of required, of required slots. Custom upgrades. Custom upgrades are a special type of upgrade that does not require upgrade slots. They allow you to improve your weapon's functionality by changing parts. As you upgrade your weapon, the parts you can choose will also change. They can be combined with weapon with effects of upgrade slots. The last part you choose also changes your weapon's appearance. Some weapons do not support custom uh, uh, upgrades. If you undo the upgrade, the materials will be returned. Okay, let's see how this works. Cannot up, uh, augment this weapon. I wonder why. Because it's not the final one in the tree, maybe? So extra slots will give you more... Um, oh, okay, so this is, this is kind of like how uh, it worked in Rise, in Sunrek. So the extra, extra slots will give you extra augment slots. Um, attack increase gives you quite a bit of attack. Affinity increase to so 10% more there. Defense slot upgrade, that's cool. Health upgrade, so health regen, which is cool. Um, element and then what are custom upgrades? Kulu Yaku mod. Slightly increases affinity by 1%. Huke mod increases that. Yodogama increases attack power, but it's, the, it's so minuscule. So these are like very incremental upgrades. But I'm guessing what you would want to do, for example, like if I want the health regen and affinity, I can I can do that right now by collecting bones and, and, and parts, because that will give me up to five. But then I can increase the slots here and then also have like um I don't know, like something else like this and this I guess so they the, the, uh, okay I, I, I kind of understand it because Sunbreak worked in a similar way but that is really fascinating um, kind of opens up how upgrades are gonna work from this point so a lot of information dumped in this video I don't fully understand some of it but 
I think we did a good job in uh, you know going forth and, and, and trying to make sense of, of what we are currently like what our goal is. I, I guess we are out there getting tracks from monsters, hunting monsters, getting their parts, um, coming back to upgrade weapons, um, but also in that way increasing the level of different regions of the guiding lands uh, in order to fight harder and, and better monsters to then be able to get better parts and then that's now going to be the loop. When it comes to, to Zenoga, I'm going to lay off on fighting him for now. I think the best thing to do is, is maybe try to get that special assignment done. Huh. You can depart straight from there. But we do have a special assignment for Sterling Pride. So let's do that. Uh, it's over in the half lost reach. Let's do that in the in the next one, um, and then we will experiment a little bit more with the guiding lens. So uh, uh, in time, I think we'll understand it a lot better. Thank you so much for joining me today. This has been really fun. This has been really eye-opening. It's really unexpected as well. Um, but uh, it's been really fun. So uh, thank you for joining me here. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one for Sterling Pride. Bye for now.